Mason is, is helpful in our offensive line because of his presence, number one. He's 6'6", 325 pounds, so when he gets off the bus, he gets everybody's attention. Uh, but he's also probably the best leader on offense right now, and he's aggressive, he's tough, and, and he backs it up with his play on the field. Well, I think Mason is a, is a leader. Um, you know, he's someone everyone looks up to because he's, he's a great player. Um, he's physical, he's tough, and uh, he really, in a lot of ways, idealizes you know, everything we want in a, in a football player at Texas. Yeah, he brings a mentality and an attitude. Um, you know, he's been a great leader through fall camp, um, and ever since I've been here, but really I think this fall camp, just understanding what we're trying to do offensively, the mentality we want up front, really the entire offense, he's done a great job with those guys. Uh, Mason, he's, he's, first of all, he's such a great leader, man. He, he's been a leader on his team since he came to the program. And I think that's, that's the biggest accomplishment that he's done in my book. I hope it is. Everything I've done from a leadership standpoint has been completely natural. And really just all, all the great examples I've had of leaders, whether it be my mom, my dad, Coach Brown, pastors, um, really bringing that into whatever I do and how I interact with people and, and hoping it's in the right direction. Definitely. I think more than becoming more of a leader, because he was a leader last year, he just realized he's understanding better the different personalities he has online. He knows how to, what affects each one of us in each kind of way, and what, that, that's what makes him a great leader. It's, it's great with him, Mason. He's just a huge guy that is just fast and quick and just, just has all the athleticism in the world. They're pretty much just making us making us look look good pretty much. They're doing all the dirty work and making the running backs and quarterbacks and everybody looking looking pretty pretty much. Well, the offensive line is probably the most important thing for a quarterback, but at the same time, I don't really see what they do. Um, but there were a few times, you know, in the run game after I handed the ball off and carried out my fake, I was able to watch and saw them really pancake a few guys and um, I knew I didn't want to be the guy that he was pancaking for sure. It's, it's like nothing else. It's as close to the feeling you get after a win as I've ever gotten. And if you pancake somebody enough times, you usually do get to that win. Um, so it's just something you kind of chase. It's, it's a high, if you will, of just, just like winning. And it's something you want to do again and again. Well, Mason's one of those guys, if he gets his hands on you, you're not, you don't have a big chance of getting off of him. That's, that's something I've, I've worked on my whole football career. It's something about that white line. And when you cross it, you're, you're, you're a different person. And it, it's more intense. It's all business. Just as a player, man, he's just so intense. He, uh, he, he gets his mind ready and he gets so angry every single play that it puts fear in the opposing guy's hearts, man. He's always pushing people, trying to push people to the limits, make them better. And uh, he's intense. He's always going to be intense and he's, he gets out every day. You know, one day I'm going to have to hang the pads up and whatever I do, I'm sure I'm going to chase them the same intensity.